Jins. Sometimes the flat in Broadstairs left me lost for words, like when me and the Mank looked out the window at completely different birds. The ones I looked at were sexy, and I could really get an eyeful. The Mank, however, looked at feathered ones he had shot down with his rifle. Finger in the fin. In the midst of this World Cup, two Swedish girls came for a trip to spend three days in London because they thought me and Steve were hip. Well, actually, one was a Swede and the other was a Finn. We all watched Sweden versus Germany and hoped the Swedish team would win. They didn't come out victors against the Germans gum. So we took the Swedes nightclubbing because they were feeling glum. The little Swede called Mia was horrified by all the things she'd found in London, like all the drug taking. So later at the Ministry of Sound, it was no surprise she felt out of place and asked if the four of us could leave. My squishy Finn was cool though, so the decision was down to Steve. He agreed to go back to the hotel because Mia kept begging please. I didn't mind. I pulled Sarah the Finn. Plus I was on ease. When we got back we all split up. So I got to be on my own with Sarah. Because Mia had got into bed with Steve. The nurse and mental patient carer. I got to fuck my squishy Finn. I had to use my spit as lube. And in the morning when she woke up she said... We must be at the station for the tube. <laughs> no worries, my squishy Finn. Steve will drive you to the station. Which he did, quite fantastically. And for this, I have nought but admiration. He drove through all the London traffic and found the station A-OK. -okay. We waved goodbye to the Finn and Swede just in time to see England play. In the first of the knockout stages, where David Beckham's free kick won the great game. Meaning we'd face Portugal in the next round, which of course turned out to be a shame. England v Portugal, the 2006 World Cup, oh how England had expected, but because of fucking Portugal we were once again ejected, and on penalties would you believe, it was enough to make men cry, a load of bawling geezers, on their knees, all asking why, <sighs> me and my friends watched it in the walkabout, it was a big sports bar in the city, me, Steve, Pete, John and Clarkey, and we all felt pretty shitty. But later at Pete's, John produced a load of laughing gas to inhale. And after about balloon 55, I started going pale. In fact, if I remember rightly, I ended up being really ill. Beer, balloons, out the World Cup and a load of Jack and Jills is enough to make anyone sick. Especially if they've had some ease. Man, I fucking hate throwing up. Oh yeah, and I fucking hate the Portuguese. Forest. Wow, look at our spare room. It's looking like a forest. Bet you've not seen plants like that down at your local florist. Filthy Maria and the Brazilian. The chances of this happening are probably one in a million. But nonetheless, it happened. I met a dude who was Brazilian whilst on the beach and on ease. I'd met him with his friends. But neither myself or the Brazilian would know how this story ends. First, I invited him and his pals to get pissed in my local boozer. I felt a bit ashamed going in with them because one looked like a total loser. But when we walked into the pub, I saw the filthiest bird I'd ever seen. You could tell straight away that this lady wasn't clean. She was proper, proper dirty. You really had to see her. She had a skimpy red dress on and had the name Maria. Within minutes of talking to this hoe, my tongue was down her throat. Then that sneaky damn Brazilian, whilst I went to get my coat, took over with the tonguing and tried to steal my slut. If I hadn't been so full of ease, I would have done my nut. But this filthy slag Maria completely threw me when she said, I'd be happy if all three of us were to all end up in bed. So all three of us went back to mine for a spot of hanky-panky. I must say though that afterwards I was feeling pretty skanky. Still, I saved her number anyway in case I was ever feeling needy and wanted a bit of no strings fun with someone really seedy.